my goodness. Good morning. Welcome back to a brand new video. I have pumpkin seeds in my teeth, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, we are headed out to our six week postpartum appointment, which is awesome. Also very crazy that that means that Liam's just about six weeks old. I'm like two days shy. Did I bring my phone? Ah, I didn't. I have to run back in. I'm running late. I'm going to be late. Oh my gosh. This is not happening to me. Where's my keys? It's in the ignition. Holy crap. Okay. One of those days. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, okay, got the phone. You cannot leave home without the phone when you have a baby at home. Oh, no, 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 no. So, anyways, I would have just left it, but. Okay, I am so good. I have to be there in 10 minutes. That is so not happening. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. <laughs> the six week postpartum appointment went very well. Amazing, I'm pretty much done bleeding, spotting, all of that good stuff. I thought I was completely done yesterday. Didn't have to wear a pad, a panty liner, or anything like that. And then this morning and there was like a tinge of color and I was like, mm, maybe I should wear a panty liner. But guys, that's exciting. Another really exciting thing is I tried to put on my wedding ring. You guys know I haven't been able to wear my wedding ring. A lot of you guys noticed I wasn't wearing it back in, God, back in April. I think it was one of the last times we went to Universal Studios and my hands swelled up so bad I could not get my rings off. Plus it's hot and humid in Florida. And then I just swelled in general. And I put, I've been putting them on like almost every day since giving birth to Liam. Liam. And this morning I got the wedding band on but my engagement ring was still really tight like wouldn't go all the way down and I didn't want to force it and then my opal ring on my right hand that I always wear that will still not go down past my knuckles so we have improvement but I don't know we'll see I'm hoping soon I'll be able to wear my wedding ring I miss wearing my wedding ring <laughs> but anyways besides the point guys I need to run to the store pick up a few things that we need at the house and then today we are finally moving those fall mugs I am not not ending this video I'm not not I'm not I'm not ending this video without doing those darn mugs <gasps> and my washer machine is getting fixed today so that's a whole nother thing you know you're an adult when you're excited that your part for your washer finally came and you can get it fixed Holy crap. I was thinking about the upload schedule. So I missed a Tuesday video and it's Thursday. The video is late because there is a couple of final touches that I need to do with it. So what I want to ask you guys is instead of doing nighttime or morning uploads, how do we feel about evening uploads? I think at this point it's just easier for me to stick to a schedule if it's in the evening. That way I have like part of the day or the morning to finish it if I don't get it finished the day before basically so it would be kind of like how I do vlogmas style so I would upload at 4 p.m in the evening instead of 9 a.m however I don't want to guarantee that because if I switch it over to the evenings that I would have it every every single time I mean that's the goal in general I'm over here thinking I can't believe I missed a video but I'm trying to like cut myself some slack with that I don't know let me know in the comments below like how you feel about evening uploads. I need to know. So I did stop at the grocery store. Like I told you guys, I picked up many of things, many fun things actually, many sweet treats and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from the store. And then the cutest thing ever. Look at this little guy. Hi. You gonna wave? Aw. <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm at home. Hi. Hi. I see you smiling. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. Too cute. I can't. Come on, let's go over here. <laughs> All right, guys. So from the store. There's definitely some uh, changes here with me. I don't know what's happening. I'll explain in a second. So the bacon, again, you guys have seen it in previous videos. It's just lovely. And then these, I love this brand of ravioli, but this time I got the Italian sausage ravioli, which is mildly seasoned Italian sausage and cheese wrapped in thin pasta. Guys, I don't like sausage. I don't. And you're probably like, then why the heck did you just get sausage ravioli? 
because for some reason I'm craving sausage and I have no idea why. I don't know. I don't know if it has something to do with pumping, breastfeeding kind of thing. I don't know if it's that or what the deal is, but I am so excited to try that. And another thing that I usually don't get is chicken ravioli. So I guess my body's wanting protein. I don't know, uh, but we got that. And then Honeycrisp apples, our favorite apples, cream cheese. Over here we have salad and then my favorite coffee creamers. We have pumpkin spice and peppermint mocha. Hamburger buns, caramel for dipping. Ooh, these, this is exciting. I also had a sale at Publix today. They were doing a lot of buy one, get one, so that was great. We have two pumpkin spice cookies to bake. I love getting these, the Pillsbury sugar cookies. What? Oh no. I just realized that's interesting. So these cookies, babe, one is chocolate flavored and one's berry flavored. Oh, Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, okay, On okay. The okay, then we, we can deal with that. So we'll see how that is. Usually I get the pumpkins, they didn't have it. These are the only ones that they had. So we'll give those a try. Maybe we'll bake today. I mean, it's not technically baking. You just kind of pop it in the oven and call it a day, but maybe we'll do that. Spinach, croutons, rotoni, spaghetti. The coffee is very exciting. Buy one, get one free. So I picked up the donut shop and Green Mountain Medium Columbia Select Roast. The little tomatoes were buy one, get one free. Turkey, who's that, Walgreens? I know, I missed it, that's fine. Okay, we'll ignore that. Um, again, weird, turkey sausage. I've been making a lot of scrambled eggs and veggies in the morning and I thought it would be nice to cook one of these and just toss it in and mix it. So, we got that. Sweet potatoes, ground beef, oranges, Red wine vinegar, my favorite salad dressing. Pepto-Bismol, this is exciting. Homestyle gravy, and you're thinking, wow, gravy, that's weird. I thought it was too. I'm like, that's quite red for gravy, and it was in the spaghetti sauce section. Um, and then I read it, so it's tomatoes, onions, carrots, Italian olive oil, celery, salt, pepper, fresh basil, fresh parsley, and bay leaf, nothing else. So it's a beautiful homemade sauce, and this is Michael's of Brooklyn brand. So good, if you have not tried it, try it. So. Got that. And then by the same brand, I got the traditional marinara sauce. And some fall cozy spices, we have whole cloves, the anise extract, and ground cinnamon. So with that being said, my plan with the spices is to start doing like water boil pots. When it starts to get cool, I love doing that. It's not cool here in Florida yet, but it's that time of year and I'm itching to do it. So. I bought the oranges, I'm gonna eat some of them and then when they start to get soft and icky and too squishy to where I don't like them, I'll add them to a pot of water. With the whole cloves, I have cinnamon sticks. Did he spit up or no, is he good? Is he just making noise? He's just making noise. He's just making noise, I thought you spit up, silly. My goodness, we both did. We whipped around like 100 miles per hour. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do like pot boils with that. If you guys do pot boils, let me know what you add to yours. It just, it makes the house smell so good. Guys, I'm having problems with my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, we still have to look at that. Yeah, so here's the plan. Hold on, let me get a paper towel, honey, so they can hear you. You wanna come over here and talk to them or are you staying on the other side? I can stay here. Okay, Larry's staying on the other side. So the plan is once we get that resolved, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get that resolved, I want to do a video of some thrift store finds that I've picked up. This is multiple visits, but there's enough to do a, a video haul or a haul video. Yeah, what happened with your channel? They del they deleted it or like canceled it? Uh, I don't remember what the terminology is. That just sucks. So, but that's what happens to you when you don't make a video forever. You get punished. Yes, they do not like that. The YouTube guys punish you. Yeah, it's my fault. So if we can get that fixed, then I will be back with a thrift store find haul. Hopefully you get, can get that fixed. Well, I'm, uh, I don't think I can fix it, but I'm relying on you to use your wizardry. Okay, I will take a peek. Did you see I got both the holiday ones, peppermint mocha and pumpkin spice? Very nice. They're trying to find the peeps one at Easter, I dare you. You know what they did have? What? They had, um, 
Why does this happen to me? I know what I want to say and nothing happens with my brain. Ugh. Marshmallow. They had marshmallow. Mm. But I was like, no, no. We have peppermint mocha and that's, that's yummy. What do we want to make for dinner? I have ground beef. Or do we want to save it for another day? It's up to you. There's not. Save for... I know, I'm sorry. Save your beer for another day? Save your beer for another day. Okay, I'm not even quite sure what anise smells like. I was looking for the star anise, whatever, little star things. They didn't... Anise? Yeah, I think so. They, I didn't see them there, but they did have the extract, which, by the way, according to the box, you can add it to biscotti cookies if you're making fresh biscotti at home. Add a few drops to cocktails, mocktails, and coffee or muffins. So I am going to sniff this and see if it's something I would add to my coffee. Oh, that's not at all what I had expected. It reminds me of licorice. Is that what anise is? You want to smell, honey? Sure. Wow, it's it's like black licorice. Mm -hmm. I did not know that's what that smelled like. Yeah. Why am I behind? <laughs> Didn't know that. I was thinking more of clove-like. I don't know. I guess that's why there's cloves. I'm going to keep my sausage out because I'm going to make an egg scrambiole. I'm very excited about this sauce, by the way. Which one should I try tonight? I'll try the home-style gravy. That sounds really fun. Oh, it's anise? Yes. Great. Star anise, and I'm so confident. It is star anise. 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 Okay, Google, thank you for showing me up. Or is that Siri? That sounds uh, like Siri. It could be. Anise. Well, that just doesn't sound as fun. I think anise sounds better, but you know, Google says it's anise. Well, if you had anise, you'd be an anise. Yeah. Oh. Is that you or him? No, no. I can't take credit for that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was too good to steal. I gotta give him props. Another reason why I said those gas relief drops, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, it's not supposed to take away your gas. It's supposed to yeah. <laughs> relieve it. So maybe it is working. It doesn't make you poop more often. It just makes you poop easier. Oh my gosh. He's so funny. being said we're gonna make these cookies and bring these coffee mugs down in this cabinet I am going to freak out if we get this video in one day I'm just saying like we'll see how it goes my battery is almost dead I should probably change that now before we get started hold on so let's grab the cookies preheat the oven and pull down these mugs I'm so excited I'm thinking we should definitely do these they're the pumpkin spice pumpkin spice cookie dough with premier white morsels so let's see, bake 12 to 13 minutes, high altitude bake of 350 degrees. Okay, we're gonna do 350 degrees apparently, yes. I need to wash this. I mean, I wasn't gonna show this, but it's real life. Does anybody else's pans look this disgusting? Like, I feel like I always just need to buy new ones. Is that a thing? Is I don't know, whatever. We have our fugly pan washed and ready to go. But the bright side is the cookies are gonna taste delicious and I'm very excited. I am, I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly worried these cookies are gonna be like overly sweet with the white morsels, but we'll see. Maybe they'll be super delicious. Hi, Lexi. Oh, those amazing. Look at that beautiful brick of pumpkin spice cookies. All right, let's just separate them 
and continue on. <gasps> my washer is officially fixed. Very excited about that. Wow, these, why are these all like, Maybe I need to cut them. Okay, I'm gonna cut them. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what is your favorite go-to fall treat? I think caramel apples, but I also have them like, if I go to Universal in the summertime, I'm definitely getting a caramel apple. Roasted pumpkin seeds are another one of my favorites. By the way, those pumpkin seeds that I showed you guys from Walmart that were the lightly salted roasted, did it say to spray the pan with this? I don't remember. Those are amazing, like very good. Although not as good as doing it at home on your own, still very good. Also Hocus Pocus, guys, it's coming. It's coming very soon. I'm so worried, like as a, a severe Hocus Pocus fan, I'm so concerned. Like I just want it to be so good. Also, that leads me to talk about Game of Thrones, like House of the Dragon. Are you watching it? If you have started it, let me know what your thoughts are without any spoilers. Um, Larry and I got through like 20 minutes of the first episode and then we had to stop watching. Um, Liam needed our attention and honestly, we have not picked it back up to watch it. It's just, to me, it's so hard to like continue a series like that after Game of Thrones because although it may be really good, it's like, it's not Game of Thrones. It's not those characters that you fell in love with. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. So I fit how many on here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 cookies. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 left that won't fit on the tray. I guess I could put them on another tray. That means I have to wash another tray because I'm ridiculous and I don't always wash my trays. That's, pro that's probably why they're black. <laughs> All right, guys. Oven is ready. Let's pop these cookies in. I don't remember what time it said. I think it was like 13 to 15 minutes or 11 to 14 minutes. We'll check them at 10 because my oven can be tricky and cook things faster when it comes to desserts or shut off in the middle of baking desserts. So let's see, we'll do 10 minutes and then go from there, shall we? Let's hope this is gonna go well. I don't like not, oh my God, I almost tripped already. I literally just almost tripped. Okay. Okay, well this is fall and this one is technically fall as well. How cute is this one? Ugh, love that. this mug like love the detail on it it's so classic simple love the cream color i think i just got it this year the one thing i don't love about it is the size so let me show you guys my perfect size mug yes i do have a perfect size mug um let me know if you have like the mug size preference i'm afraid i'm gonna bash my head into that okay so this would be my perfect size mug this is the size of this mug so that's kind of like this is like a soup mug for sure. The only reason I don't love super big mugs like this is because I'm the slowest coffee drinker in the world. I still have my coffee from this morning. I still have it. I'm still sipping on it and it is 420. So that kind of tells you why I don't love like the big ones. Everything that I'm saying right now, I'm, I'm like joking. Heaven. Anyways, I'm just going to put the mugs in. And also some of you are like, put your mugs upside down instead of stacking them this way. I don't, I don't like them up. Like I've got too many to be able to put them upside down. So that way I can stack one on top of the other, like inside one of another, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to do fall on one side, Halloween on the other side, I think. So let's do that. Okay. This is also like the perfect mug. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this mug. I love the ceramic feel. Where is it from? I don't know. World Traveler. It appears that I have five fall mugs plus this glass one so six fall autumn mugs and one two three four five six seven eight halloween mugs so these three mugs i've gotten at i think tj maxx or marshall's every single year they came out with mugs that look like this uh this is the brand bell mason maybe these are cobwebs and cauldrons by the brand cobwebs and cauldrons but anyways they all kind of have that similar vibe i love it this is another one of my favorites we accomplished it and then let me finish my morning coffee at 4 20 
very excited. And then this one had to go up here. And then guys, I'm already excited about that. <laughs> And then for our cookies, I have the cutest pumpkin plates. I have two of them. I do believe these, this one's still wet. I do believe they are from Hobby Lobby, possibly. So I'm gonna wash these up and then I can put a couple cookies on them in the evening for Larry and I during our show movie time. Let's check, it's been 10 minutes. I don't think they're done. I can definitely smell them though. Ooh, hot. No, mm -mm. let's add like two minutes. I'm adding two. So I wore this shirt. Well, I'm wearing it obviously in the video, but I was doing Instagram stories with this shirt. I had so many people asking about where it is from. It is from Etsy. Usually every year I'll grab myself like one or two um, Halloween inspired shirts from Etsy to support like a local or not a local, but to support like a business. And then I also do Christmas. Like I'll grab one from there too. And this is from Etsy. So I will link it down below. I got it last year, but I linked it over on Instagram stories for everybody asking. And there was still the same shirt. So that's good. I'm not sure if it's the same seller, I assume, but I don't know. Um, but I did not do that this year. I did notice I have a lot more Halloween themed sweatshirts and t-shirts than I do autumn. So I do wanna take a look at just some classic autumn shirts. You know which one I've been wanting for a very long time and every year I look at it and I'm like, I don't get it. It's the, um, uh, who are they? Really popular, hold on. Is it Keel James Patrick? Like this sweatshirt i'm sure why is it so bright okay i'm sure you guys have seen this they come out with the most beautiful shirts sweaters um all the time and every year i look at it and i'm like i want it so bad it's 128 dollars, which is why i have never done it and one of these times i'm just gonna treat myself like you guys know i love fall I, of course i live in florida so i'll get my use out of it indoors but I mean, I could wear it November for Thanksgiving and I would probably be perfect, but it's just, it's the reason I haven't done it is because it is the price point that it is, but everybody says it's so worth it, but it is 30% wool, 70% acrylic. So I don't know if there's like specific wash. Unisex tailored fit lady should size down one size. Why is there a gnat in my face? Oh my God, the cookies. Anyways, one of these days I'm going to purchase that. Will it be this year? I don't know. Are these done yet? I'm not sure. I don't want to overcook them. That would suck. You know what? Let me pull. Let me pull them out. We have to try them while they're fresh and hot. We just must. So cheers to pumpkin spice season, guys. And let's give them a try. Not overly sweet. Oh my gosh, this is so, so good. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Since I have the oven on, I think I'm gonna roast some of my sweet potatoes. I think I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the day. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, and I will see you guys again very soon in the next video.